Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. Let's start with today's uh, TA because Bitcoin had this fantastic run yesterday breaking through this resistance of $9,400 after bottoming out here at the first FIB line at $8,900. So congratulations if someone bought this dip here because currently you should be sitting in some nice profits at around $9,500 and right now we are coming to the last phase to test here this $9,700 resistance that is in front of us. Maybe we are back in track now to possibly test 9,700 and even up here at $10,300, the main resistance. And if we are able to break it, I think this could be lead into a big start of a big bull run. And that's why we have to analyze very, very careful currently also the bigger time frames because there are signs here that we could have some heavy resistance here and that we are coming back down below $9,500. But this move that we have seen here also in the stock market in the S&P, we had quite a nice pump is already a very bullish sign. And this signals that the bulls are here and they want to bring the price up again. So that is a good sign and currently also here in the one hour it's looking quite bullish. We are trading now again above the 50 level in the RSI. Stochastic here is even oversold. So here we could see a big move to the upside breaking here also the 200 moving average in the one hour. And if we go over to the Bollinger Band also here we perfectly recovered back up here into the top of the Bollinger Band and currently we had this retracement back down here to the middle line and possibly we're gonna see here another move towards $9,600. The problem here is a bit that we have a possible bearish cross in the MACD but of course it's not yet happened so it is possible that we're gonna bounce from it and don't have here this uh, bearish cross in the MACD. So even if we would have this bearish cross and would start here to decline I think here the 9,440 level should hold as a support at the moment. And if we go over to the four hour time frame, here also you can see that currently we are struggling to break here above the 50 moving average, but we are above the 200 and also the 20 moving average in the four hour, which is very bullish. And also here you can see that the 20 bounced exactly here at the main support of 9,370. So in theory, we should be back in track now within this bigger rising wedge that we were in before. We had this possible fake out or breakout here to the downside. We immediately bottomed here at the first fib line bounce back up and now we have to see if we are able to break this resistance which is above of us. It is also possible that these are already signs that we will see a breakout to the downside and have a major dump but currently we are back in track and currently it is looking like Bitcoin wants to push again towards $9,700. So here in the 4 hour it is also looking quite bullish. We are trading above the 15 the RSI. Stochastic is oversold here so here we could see a possible retest of the 200 or 20 moving average which is at around 9400 to 9440 and also if you go over to the Bollinger Band here you can see that we had here this uh, bullish cross in the MACD and currently after topping out in the Bollinger Band we are retracing back down so also here in theory we could go towards 9400 to bounce again from it and have this confirmation that 9400 is our new support. Only if we would lose this $9,400 support and start to trade again below $9,300 then I think this was a fake out this pump and we are definitely shifting out to the downside towards our bearish target gets of around eight thousand dollar but currently in the lower time frames it is still looking quite bullish after this pump that we have seen and also if we go over to the daily time frame here you can see that currently we are pushing through the 20 daily moving average this is the moving average that is concerning me a bit because if today we're going to close below 9500 that would mean that we still have this moving average as a resistance so we have to close today above 9500 to be able again to retest here the next resistance here at 9 
9700 and the important one up here at 10220 currently so it is very important that today we're going to close above 9500 and also bring the rsi back again above the 50 level we have the stochastic oversold so in theory from here on we should see a big move to the upside and i think it is very likely that we will see something like this coming up especially if today we're going to close above 9500 so in that case even if we will break here this resistance above us we would be still in this potential rising wedge which at any time can still break out to the downside and then recover back up or we just see a, a breakdown consolidation and then bounce back up so as long as we're gonna stay within this rising wedge, everything is uh, possible. A breakdown is at any time possible. Also remember that we still have a lot of longs compared to shorts. So I think a possible long squeeze is at any time possible, especially as long as we're gonna stay in this potential bearish pattern. But once we're gonna break here, these two resistance here, I think there are very good signs for the longer time frame that we will see a big bull run coming very soon. And if we go over to the daily time frame here in the Bollinger Band, you can see that currently we are also fighting here with the middle line. So we have to close today above here. So in order to start to trade here in the upper area, so far we are still testing the resistance and we didn't have the breakout here or the confirmation that we are back here in the upper area of the Bollinger Band in the daily. And if we can break and close above 9,500, in theory, we could even go up towards 10K again. The problem here only is that so far we have to wait for the close of today and also the MACD shifted to the downside so in theory we are still fighting this resistance so we don't have now a clear sign that we are back into a potential run to the upside here in the higher time frames so be very careful in case that you're starting to long right now because so far we didn't really had this uh, confirmation that we are back here in the upper area so maybe wait for today's close if we're going to close above 9500 even better above 9600 then this should signal that we are back again to test here this 10k resistance th that is above of us and if we go over to the weekly time frame here it is still looking very bullish after coming down towards the 50 weekly moving average we successfully bounce from it rsi is still above the 50 stochastic is still overbought that is what is concerning me a bit but in the rsi we still have a lot of room left to the upside and also we are trading above all moving averages here in the weekly so in the higher time frames it is still looking very bullish and nothing has been broken so far even if we go over to the Bollinger Band, here it is looking completely different than in the daily because here we are trading in the upper area and we're having the middle lines here as a support. So far we only had a little wick to the downside and it was immediately bought back up. And here in the weekly in theory we could go easily towards $11,000. $300. MACD is also still shifted to the upside so as you can see here the weekly very bullish the daily not so bullish but all in all I would say buying the dips from now on even if it can drop down to 6k or 8k will be the last opportunities to buy cheap bitcoins if we go really that low then this will be the perfect opportunity also to open long positions even high leverage because the more we will fall the cheaper you can buy bitcoins back in and remember that we still have this special $100 extra giveaway on Bybit. So make sure to open an account right now with the link that you find down below here in the video description. Because currently you will not get only this $90 bonus that you anyway get signing up with my link. But also right now if you put a 0.2 Bitcoin deposit until the 20th of June, you will get an additional $100 completely for free. And therefore you don't have to do anything just putting this deposit and and you will get it within three days and also if you want to trade on some other exchanges i recommend you also femex primex pt and bityard bityard is a very high leverage exchange and they also give you therefore a lot of bonuses if you trade with high volume i think it's up to 250 dollars if i'm not wrong so make sure to use my sign up links to claim also these bonuses and rewards that you get on each of these exchanges and we have a free discord trading chat so feel free to join the chat it's completely for free for everyone and everyone is welcome and i'm doing the live streams over on twitch so make sure also to join the twitch 
Twitch channel. And with that said, guys, we're gonna wrap it up for now. If you like the content, you know what to do. Make also sure to subscribe to the channel because we do daily TA videos and also you can participate to the Bitcoin giveaway that I do with every 500 subscribers. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and we see us all in the next one. Bye.